Here we're going to show you how easily you can create your own standard component within Top Solid. To begin with, we're going to sketch something out. Nice and easy. No tricks here. Here we'll add some driving dimensions, like its overall height. Makes sense. Probably the width of this element here, why not? How about the width here as well? We'll locate that off our zero that way. And then maybe we'll go ahead and create what we call a half part dimension from our y axis as a revolution point to that segment and then to that segment. Perfect. We'll exit out of the sketcher and we'll go ahead and create a revolution. So we'll choose Revolved, select our profile, select our revolution axis, and from there we'll just validate it for 360 degrees. Next we'll add a couple of chamfers. And like that, we're done. The next step will be to define the part. This is an important pro uh, part of the process. Here we're giving the component a name, maybe a reference, maybe supplier information or processing, but also its material type. So here we'll choose thermoplastic, why not? And we'll set it to the material that we want to use, and we'll say OK. So we've now defined this as an assembly part. We can have a look at it. Looks good. And basically this is going to be a little wire ring uh, for like an entertainment center or a desk for your wires to pass through. Now what we're going to create is another solid block, but this solid block is going to hold the machining process that goes along with the standard component. Because including a standard isn't good enough. A lot of times when you include a standard, there's also some type of manufacturing process that goes along with it whether it be a drilled hole or a pocket or something, you have to include that. So here, we're making this extra solid to allow us to define the manufacturing process that's associated with this user-defined custom component. I'm just going to make a couple of quick changes here to some of the driving dimensions, so we're seated nicely on our part. And like that, we're done. Next, I believe we're going to put in the manufacturing process now, which will be a drilled hole. We'll do it right there in the center of that face. We'll say OK. We'll set the diameter as needed. And we'll validate. And now our drilled hole is complete. Perfect. Next, we're going to go ahead and insert our tool shape. This is going to be called the drilling, and the operation to insert is going to be that drilling. Just by selecting it, it's now inserted as part of this component. Perfect. And finally, we're going to define some key points. So we'll choose that, and we'll call it the center uh, point. And like that, we're finished. So here we've made our custom component, and it includes a machining process. Now let's save this to our user library. Here we just choose the family, choose the type, give it a variant, cable connection, why not, and validate. And now we'll go and test this. So here you see our entertainment center, and we're going to go find our cable connection and we're just going to insert it right into the component, locate it on the face, and choose automatic processing. And like that you can see it applied that drilling automatically right after we inserted this component. Let's insert one more right there. Boom. See? Wasn't that easy?